Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily angelic message for March 25th, 2024. I should have looked this up. Is today the lunar eclipse? Help me out. I know some of you out there studying astrology. I should have studied it, but it's hard. There, It's it's a lot, okay? And it's math. And it's I, I felt like when we talk angles, that's geometry. I don't you know. Mr. Wise, my geometry teacher back in high school, might be very upset by me saying that. <laughs> Actually, I was good at geometry. I just don't want to put it in astrology. It's just too much. It's too much. Anyway, so if today is the lunar eclipse, let me know how you're doing in the comments. Today we have the number 27, home. Now, in the setup of all the other dailies and the really long weekly that I put together, very interesting that today we have home. To me, this feels like a lot of us are coming home, coming home to uh, a sense of a strong sense of self. Some of you, you, you're only capable of looking at the surface level. You want to take everything quite literally. Is this about your home? Sure. It's probably not, but sure. Whatever you got to do. Okay. Whatever gets you through the day. This is, <laughs> this could be coming home. Because something comes full circle. There, there's something around this. Or feeling at home. Feeling at home. So something. Actually, I was like joking about everybody taking it like so literally. It might be something around your home where you're figuring something out. There's like a, you're not going to see it. He's so teeny tiny, but he's back here. There's like an owl back there. Okay. Now owls to me are wisdom. They're also, to me, they're like little alarms. Like, I know pe most people would be like, roosters are the alarm. Have you ever had an owl, like, out there doing his thing? And he's not shutting up because it's the middle of the night and he's got to, like, make sure you know he's there. Um, now that owl looks like he's giving me a dirty look for saying that. I'm just saying. <laughs> but to me, they're kind of, like, trying to get your attention. That's not actually what owls do. I don't know owl behavior please okay like that please with the comments please and thank you with the comments okay I don't know what owls really do that's not the point okay the point is that something is trying to get you to awaken uh and to realize what needs to change within the home now there's also a clock on here there's a little fairy so all kind of things two fairies I don't know what that is anyway the clock it's just time it's just time so for some of you out there who, if you've been listening, especially if you like, if you're going to get offended by my content, it's going to be the content that I put up this week, this past week. Like some of you are probably riled up. And quite frankly, if you are, you're the one who needs to change. Now, I'm not saying you have to agree with me. You don't have to agree with me at all. But there's got to be some reason why that triggered you. I'm a stranger on the internet. Why would you care what I have to say? Right? So if I gave an opinion about something or I brought a message forward and then expressed an opinion around that, if you're so bothered, you need, you need to look at that, okay? Why did that bother you so much? So some of you have a toxic dynamic going on in your home where you are being taken advantage of. Now listen to me. We're going to use the D word. I don't like saying it, but there's light, there's angels, and then there are the D word, okay? Now, some of you have invited a D word across your threshold, this goes across many different spiritual practices. A lot of people talk about this. Now, I try, it's so funny. Um, I've had, here and there, someone cross the threshold. And I actually have um, some chimes. I got them at a gas station. Yeah, they're like wind chimes, but they're mini. I think they're supposed to go on your rear view mirror, which is wild to me. They're, I mean, they're small, but too big for your rear view mirror. Just my opinion. But anyway, I have them on the back hinge of my door. I make sure I clean off my door. Um, typically, I have a piece of selenite and onyx or black tourmaline flanking my door so that anybody who comes through, one, you'll get a blessing. If you're open to a blessing, I set the intention that if you come through my door, you get a blessing. But it, it is also there to ward off evil. There have been situations where... Someone came in and couldn't stand being here. And I didn't want them here. And they turned around and they left. Now they left kindly. But you could tell there was a little bit of scramble as they came through the door. You know all the stuff since we're on the front door thing. You know when it comes to your home, do not have anything that says welcome. 
I have a mat that I got from Target. I'm sorry, I still say Target. I'm stuck. It's, it's just there. From Target. This is, yay, you're here. And actually, I had that during COVID, <laughs> which I thought was like, <laughs> that's fitting. You know, yay, we get to see somebody. Um, but even that one, I don't have that out there anymore. I put it in inside my home, and I have like my vacuum cleaner on top of it keeps my vacuum cleaner from being on the floor um so I have just that but it's inside my house so like if you're already invited in then that's okay but um having those kinds of indicators out front um not great there's also a tradition now this is not a tradition that I am terribly familiar with um so please comment if you know what this is but painting your door blue or having your porch be blue please speak on that because I did this one time this is when I was living in Colorado Springs Toxic people everywhere. My goodness. I had, I got from the good Dollar Tree. Yes, I did. Uh, it was like a little door. You guys saw these, right? If you're a Dollar Tree hunter. Um, little, it looks like a little barn door and it was blue and it's got some little things on it and a pumpkin. And I don't remember what it said. Did that say welcome? If it said welcome, I took the welcome off of it or ripped it off. It's only hot glued. So whatever, I took that off. But I had that hanging outside, or I think it says fall or something. It has a word on it, which is tacky, but whatever. whatever. It had it on it. So it was blue, and I hung that out um, in front of my door. And it was wild how, like, they this uh, apartment complex that I lived in, it was down in the um, Cheyenne Mountain area. Terrible. If you're going to live in Colorado Springs, send me a message and I'll tell you where not to live because these people were awful. They would have these really, oh, I, I could make a whole video on this. But anyway, they would come unannounced for these inspections and you had to let them in. They would just barge into your home unannounced. I know what y'all are going to say. Don't they have to give you 24 hours notice? They claim they didn't because they were ready with that one. We don't have to give you 24 hours on. So they would come in and they would take pictures and they would say, we're only taking pictures of, you know, like the sprinkler system, which was a lie. The person was taking pictures of my personal belongings. And yeah, so they would do this. But anyway, that was happening quite a bit. When I had this blue thing hanging out there, they tried to come to my door. And I remember I opened the door and uh, they were like, hey, we we're just here for an inspection. And I said, right now? Well, we don't have to do it right now. And they were backing away. There were some other cases, like some toxic, because I tried to make friends out there and it was ridiculous, but somehow they didn't want to hang out at my home anymore. That blue thing being there, they did not want to come through the door. So again, if you know about that, go ahead and let me know. So I feel like the reason why I'm going through that is we got to be more conscientious of what kind of energies we surround ourselves with. There are as many D words as there are light beings. Okay, like they're playing it out on this field and be careful who you allow into your home. Some of you have already invited one of those into your home and you are in partnership with them. You're going to have to figure out how you want to handle that and what comes next. Okay, um, but for some of you, this can feel like your sanctuary. Maybe some of you are hanging out at home. Some of you might be stuck in your homes, um, but that's okay. Like some of you, even if there, God forbid, if there's a disaster on this day and I, oh God, go back to, I don't remember what day it was. I don't remember, March 15th, 14th, something like that. I had pulled a card and I just only recently started using this deck. There's a link for this down in the description box, but I never used this deck and I just happened to pull out the card and it says storm and there's a tornado on it. I pre-record those. Go back and find this. You can see it in the thumbnail that there's a tornado. So talking about like storms or whatever, pre-recorded, got it loaded. The day that that went live, there were tornado warnings where I live. And I spent most of the evening down in my basement on, um, you know, between me and my family, we knew people who were in the path of the storm or were out in the storm. It was like high chaos, high drama. And then of course you had everybody else acting like, the fact that tornadoes literally killed people. I mean, it killed people, not, not in my town, but um, that people had been devastated by that. Actually, like it was no big deal and like nothing happened. Why are they acting like that? Because it didn't happen to them. So they don't care, right? So what is home to you? It's redefining what home means to you. It's also cleaning out your home and being, 
like we went into a whole thing about being really conscientious about what kind of energy you allow through the door. Does that make sense? Cool. All right. If, if today is in fact the eclipse, happy eclipse. We'll have to see. Anyway, sending you all so much love and take care.